Hey what's up this is Chatura from AntiVFX and in this video we are going to take a look at how to export markers inside Adobe Premiere. Markers are pretty pretty useful for editing. Sometimes we need to export those markers as a text file or as a web page we can do that inside Adobe Premiere. So I have already opened the markers panel so I will uh, set a couple mark markers in this sequence. You can press the M uh, on keyboard to add markers. When you uh, uh, clear, when you press the M again, uh, it will open the markers uh, property panel, and here you can add the marker uh, name as well as the comment. The comment is the important thing; it will uh, appear on the timeline. So let's say add LTD here. So that means uh, add the lower third here. So you can increase the duration of the marker. That way, we can see the comments inside this. Uh, inside the on the timeline so when you click ok you cannot see that comment but uh, when you press again m and uh, let's increase the duration to like uh, two seconds so when you click ok you can see uh, we can see that comment inside the marker now uh, when you select the clip uh, it will uh, appear that inside the uh, markers panel so we can set uh, another marker, uh, these markers we call the timeline markers, some markers uh, we can set on the clip, you can select the clip and press M and it will create a clip marker, but in this case we are going to create uh, timeline markers, so I press again M and it will, sorry, you have to deselect the uh, clip if you want to create uh, timeline markers, otherwise it will create uh, clip markers, so I press M again and press double press the M and it will open this markers uh, property dialog box and here you can set the marker name in here you can select uh, let's say at the motion graphic element at so you can increase the duration to see the marker comment and you can also select any kind of color if this is uh, based on your choice uh, you can select uh, different uh, kind of markers based on these uh, marker colors and uh, you can also filter those markers in the markers panel so now we have already created markers now we have to, we can export these markers using file export you can see the option markers when you go to the markers option it will ask the file type you can select either a CSV file that is a comma separated value you can open it uh, inside Excel or you can export this as a text file or you can export this as a web page so I select the web page option and you can select the destination and you can select output name so markers test so click OK and it will create that uh, inside the uh, selected uh, folder and you can see successfully exported the marker so I open the folder so this is the markers that we just created you can see the marker so we can see a thumbnail and we can select the in point and the out point as well as uh, the marker comment you can see at LTD here at uh, Margaret element here so that way we can export markers and we can send this to uh, some motion graphic guy to uh, see understand what what kind of uh, motion graphics need for this video so that's pretty useful you can see there are some other formats so uh, sometimes the csv format is uh, pretty useful so you can export this as a csv format you can select and here you can select the comma separate value so that way you can export it as a csv file so that's how you export markers inside